Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I got a video on showing you guys a game that was actually, um, the PS5 port for it recently came out, which is Agatha Christie, The ABC Murders. Uh, so this game came out a few years ago. I want to thank my friends at Microids for sending me a copy of this game and for sponsoring this video. I do appreciate it. Thank you guys. But about Agatha Christie, The ABC Murders, uh, the PS5 version recently came out. Make sure to check it out on the PlayStation Store. It's actually $14.99. It's actually on sale this month. But about this is this actually follows the story of Agatha Christie's The ABC Murders. So Agatha Christie, she's actually she was actually a British writer who wrote several murder mystery novels. And one of her most famous novels I actually read, I haven't read The ABC Murders, but The ABC Murders is an actual murder mystery novel. And the game I know follows the the novel very closely so the game is very similar to the novel i know there's a few differences and a few choices that you can make which you can change up the story a little bit but it follows the novel very closely i did read and then there was none uh that was uh that was one of the best you know detective stories that i've ever you know that I've ever read or watched, it was And Then There Was None. And Then There Was None, it was uh, one of her best novels of all time. So she's a pretty famous writer. Uh, she write, her stories took place in the 1930s, uh, before World War II, and they were in, in uh, taking place in Britain, most of them were. But anyways, about this game is Agatha Christie's The ABC Murders. Uh, you uh, play as a detective um, called Hercule um, Poirot, and you are solving the killings that is being done by the ABC killer, who is a serial killer. And uh, in the game, uh, in this game, you walk around crime scenes, you look for evidence, you interview suspects, there's different choices that you have on what you, you can say. Uh, you can also, different dialogue options, you can actually piss some people off too. Some of the dialogue options are actually pretty funny. And uh, my favorite part of the game is actually when you actually take all the evidence and then you put it together and you create theories. And then you can actually reconstruct the scene too. And one big part of this game also is the puzzles. The puzzles are some of them get really hard later in the game, but they're very challenging. But anyways, um, let's do this. I'll have a video on this. I'll show you guys some of the gameplay features in this game. I hope that you guys enjoy it. But again, make sure to check it out on the PlayStation Store. I will have the link in the description in the top pinned comment. So uh, check it out there. Thank you again to MyCords for sending me a copy. But anyways, let's play. Hercule po Poirot. Um, if I'm pronouncing that correctly in French. Okay. Let's play. Some post for you, Poirot. Mr. Hercule Poirot. You fancy yourself, don't you, at solving mysteries that are too difficult for our poor, thick-head British police? Let us see, Mr. Clever Poirot, just how clever you can be. Perhaps you'll find this nut too hard to crack. Look out for Endover on the 21st of the month. Yours extra, A, B, C. Oh, it's some sort of joke. Maybe. But please, remind me to inform Chief Inspector Jap. Saying that something's gonna happen on the 21st. A lot of Agatha Christie's novels take place actually before World War II, in the 1930s. What's on the counter? Observe the object from all angles of the left stick. It's not just any railway guide. It's an ABC. Yep, just like the letter. It's open at the letter A. There are no prints on the book. The killer probably left this to taunt us. Uh, what is this here? Is that blood underneath the bag? Red liquid is oozing out. Is it blood? Oh, no, no, it's a strawberry. It's just some strawberries that are losing their juice. They probably come from the fruit and vegetable shop opposite. Okay, we're also looking for one more clue here. Oh, 
Oh, and uh, my, my camera here. Huh. Uh, the counter is covered with fingerprints all on top of one another. Unfortunately, it will not be possible to use them. There are so many customers that come into a store and put their hands on the counter, so be basically impossible to tell which is the killer's. This is the body. Okay. She just has one wound on the back of the head. There are no other wounds or signs of a struggle. This poor woman's head is resting in a very even-shaped pool of blood. What's she this? has a packet of play cigarette next to her hand. Did she drop it when she fell? Hmm, the body is hidden by the counter and is not visible from the tobacco shop store. Many customers might have thought that Mrs. Asher had popped out. She just has one wound on the back of the head. There are no other wounds or signs of a struggle. I can't see any other mark on the floor. How do we explain the presence of an ABC guide on the, the counter? Objects hide secrets behind complex mechanisms, up to you to decipher them. Uh, observe the object from all angles to the left stick. When the hand icon is pointed to an element, press the L2 button. To go back, press the circle button. When the hand icon grabs an element, hold down the L2 button to take it and then move it with the right stick. Press the circle button to cancel the action. Teal does not appear to have been touched. I have to check that nothing is missing from it. We're gonna want to see that that the register wasn't empty. That's a big in, uh, indication when there was a robbery. It would be best to examine the rest of the till. Mechanism has just made a fan click. What is this right here? The tail is full of money, but there is something strange. Yeah, this. Something is hidden underneath. Something is hidden underneath. Hmm. So this game is known for its puzzles. It has a lot of puzzles, and some of these can get really challenging. There's a secret compartment to this register. Actually, hang on a second. Minus, minus two. minus two. I think I would have to hit the buttons here. There's a two there, but... I need to find the code. I need to find the code.
Oh, here we go. Look at that. See that? Eight? So basically, it's a, uh, it's a three-digit code. There's no minuses. Eight is the first one. Five is the second one. That's how we get it. Okay, eight, five, and two. Eight, five, two. Oh, here we go. This nice. must be the key to the back of the shop. Very satisfying solving some of those puzzles. And some of them some of them get really hard later on. Uh you select the inventory object that you want to use the left and right buttons. Press the cr uh, cross button to grab it. Use the right stick to move the, the item to the right place. The objects that you st uh, stock in your inventory can also be examined more closely. Was Miss Allen killed on sight? The door is locked. Use. There we go, we got in. Okay, so this is her private room here now. Okay, um, let's see. Is the, is theft the motive for the crime? Here you are making Poirot's, uh, Poirot's, uh, little gray cells work. The aim is to answer the questions, uh, he asks himself by establishing the links between the clues in order to deduce an answer. Use the directional buttons or left stick to review available clues. Press the cost button to select or deselect uh, clues to answer the question. So this is the, um, uh, whenever a detective game has stuff like this, it's always like, th this is always the best gameplay for me. It's like when you get a bunch of evidence for together and you try to create a theory. Uh, you start feeling like a real detective at this point. You're trying to put all the pieces together. Uh, is theft the motive for the crime? Clue is missing still. I'm still missing one more clue. Okay. Let me look around a little bit more here. There are cigarettes packets in a mess on the shelf. So, Pyro, any news? Pyro, so, let's say something. Certainly, with no fingerprints, but prints all over the counter. Normally, the tobacco shop does not sell ABC guides. Exact. Mon ami, could you have a word with the neighbors? Some may have seen something. Of course, my friend, I'll do it straight away. Let us now try and get our brand cells to work. Okay, so this is what I love about a lot of these detective games, and this is, uh, I just love that they have this in the game, where you take all the evidence together and you basically form a theory. Is theft the motive for the crime? The tile is untouched and is full of money. No object of value for sale in the shop? The motive is definitely not financial gain. There is no sign of a struggle, and the till has not been forced or emptied. I think I've looked everywhere here. Let us see if I can find any more information in the shop's surroundings. How do we explain the presence of an ABC guide on the counter? Okay. Miss Asher was seen alive at 5.30 p.m. Letter signed ABC announcing the Andover murder. No railway gu guide for sale in the tobacco shop. There are no fingerprints on the guide.
It was left by the murderer as a signature. The murderer deliberately left behind this ABC as a signature. The absence of fingerprints and the fact that it is open at letter A for Endover leaves little doubt. Okay. Was Miss Archer killed on sight? Let's see here. On s okay, so was she actually killed here? No other marks in the floor. This is I would say this is important. She was killed on sight. Mrs. Asher was killed here. The absence of marks in the shop and the regular shape of the blood stains indicated beyond a doubt. Okay. Let's do more theories here then. What was Miss Asher doing when she was killed? Packets in a muddle on the shelf. Yep, I think this. Cigarette packet near the victim's hand. She was gonna get some cigarettes from the shelf and somebody came up behind her and hit her in the back of the head. Am I right? She was taking a packet of cigarettes for herself. Yep. Called it. The murderer probably pretended to be a customer. He hit the shopkeeper from behind as she turned around to serve him. Can we establish the time range during which Miss Asher was killed? Uh, this is going to be the hardest one. We're missing a clue. Okay. We'll come back to this. She is Alice uh, Asher's niece. Her aunt was her only family. Uh, she confirms that Franz Asher is violent. But he was afraid of his wife. Her aunt gave her husband five shillings a week. She owns a tobacco shop. Married to Franz Asher, she lived alone. She was killed in her tobacco shop by a blow to the head. Okay. Find Franz Asher. Okay, her husband. We gotta find this guy. Accuse her of selling rotten fruit. Accuse her of Alice Asher's murder. That's what I'm gonna do. Triangle. I am accusing you of the murder of Mrs. Asher. According to the victim's account book, you owed her ten pounds for tobacco and magazines. That's a lie. She owed me one pound. I swear. Ask for more explanations. Now, please be so kind as to explain this. Look at my account book. Alice owed me eleven pounds for fruit and vegetables. I may have had a slate at her shop, but she had one at mine. She owed me one pound. And that reminds me I have to get it back from her niece. That is quite enough. Your account book has saved you, but I might ask Chief Inspector Jap to throw you in the cells for one or two nights while he checks your entries. Do you want to go to prison? Prison? Now that's not fair, I haven't done nothing. Yeah, P Poirot has no toleration for her. that case, I am counting on your full collaboration. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. He got really mad. Listen, I didn't kill Alice, I swear. But it's true that I did go to the shop yesterday. At what time? Six o'clock. She left me a note saying she wanted some strawberries if I got some. I received them late, about six. So I took them over to her. But you did not see her. She wasn't in the shop, so I just put the strawberries on the counter and left. Ask what she saw in the tobac tobacco shop. And so Perot is, um, uh, you know, got really pissed when she said she's gonna get the money from the niece that uh, she owes, her, uh, that she owes her. Let's see what she saw in the tobacco shop. Did you see anything unusual in the shop? No. Well, maybe one thing. There was a railway guide on the counter. 
Alice didn't sell them. Maybe it's the customer who left it there. You were not alarmed? I thought Alice had just gone to get her medicine from her room and that she'd be straight back. You mentioned medicine. Something for her cough. She used to take it a lot. Who do you think killed her? France. Her scoundrel of her husband. He was always after her for something. Well, he's a foreigner. Uh, sorry, sir. What I mean is he's German. That's even worse. Did you see Franz Asher enter the tobacco shop late yesterday afternoon? Well, no. But at that time of the day, the streets are packed, and I have better things to do than watch her shop. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. At what time was the murder committed? Can we establish the time range at which... which Miss Asher was killed? She was killed before 6 p.m. because of the fact that she had saw the ABC guide on the counter, so Miss Asher was already dead at that point. Miss Asher was seen alive at 5.30 p.m. Fruit seller did not seem to be in the shop at six. The time range. The body is from 11 p.m. Alice Asper was killed between 5.30 and 11 in the evening. Can we reduce this time and why? Yes, we can. We can reduce it even more. Yes. Uh. The fruit seller did not see anybody in the shop at 6 p.m. Because of the counter, the body's not visible from the tobacco shop door. Alice Asher was killed between 5.30 and 6 p.m. So now we have a very tight window. Uh, there's going to be very few people going into the store between that 30-minute window. So now we have a pretty good idea of when this happened. Reconstruct the crime's course of events by selecting the actions uh, that the killer may have executed. All oh, the music gets really creepy now. Okay, so we are going to be reconstructing the crime scene now. Reconstruction, okay. The killer enters the shop. Uh, he advanced. Mrs. Asher turns around to greet a customer. Ask for, he asks for cigarettes. The murderer asks her for some tobacco. She turns her back to him. He seizes the opportunity to strike her. But he then places the ABC on the counter before leaving. The ABC was not found like that. We are not far from the solution, these things. Would you mind if we thought about it a little more? Turns around. He then places the ABC upside down before leaving. Everything appears to match the crime scene, mon cher Hastings. That is exactly what happened. So now we got an idea of basically how the killer did it. Okay, so we will wrap this part up here, guys. I want to thank my friends at Microids for sending me a copy of this game. Make sure you guys check out Agatha Christie's The ABC Murders it's on the PlayStation Store. It's $14.99 right now. It's a great game. I will do a whole playthrough of this later in the month. I'll do an entire playthrough of this. We'll do one big video, uh, you know, playing through the game. But it's a cool detective game. Uh... Basically looking at people, you examine them, you see what you can find about them, maybe describe their personality a bit, what they're wearing, you look for evidence, you solve puzzles, which the puzzles seem to be the biggest part of the game, and some of the puzzles get really hard. And even at the start here, we were actually dealing with some pretty challenging puzzles, and then I think, you know, the best best part, in my opinion, is when you're actually putting the theories together. I think that's the best part of any detective game, is when you take all the evidence, and you basically uh, put it together, 
and you try to create an explanation for what you think happened, and then you have the scene reconstruction at the end, where you reconstruct the scene on what you think happened. And so this is this entire case, you know, goes on more. This is based on the book, The ABC Murders, and I know that the book, uh, the game follows the book very closely, and so Agatha Christie, she's always done really well novels. You know, I think personally, her one of her novels, the, and then there was none, one of the best detective you know, novels of all time. So I have a lot of faith in this game too, in the story, and excited to play more of it. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day, guys.